Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Let's look at how the Finder remembers window size, position, and settings. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than a thousand supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you could read more about the Patreon campaign. Join us and get exclusive content and course discounts. Now when you use the Finder you may wonder how when you open a new window it decides which view to use and where to position and how to size the window. Well, the important thing to remember about the Finder is there are two different things. One is a Finder window like this that's like a viewing port to seeing files and folders on your drive. The other is location. The actual place where files are stored like these folders here or this documents folder where all of this is stored. Position data is saved for each location not for the window itself. So if I'm opening a new Finder window and say I open it to the Documents folder it's going to remember the position and location. Let's move the window up here. I'll close it. Then I'm going to go to File and New Finder Window and you can see it puts it back in the same place. The reason for that is because the window opened to the Documents folder. In Finder Preferences I have under General New Finder Windows Show Documents. So when I open a new Finder window it shows the Documents folder. However if I were to open another window and that window were to be for another location then it would obey the size and position for that folder. What's stored as the settings for that folder. Now opening a new folder in a new window that's not the default here is a little difficult. If you've got this Open Folders in Tabs instead of New Windows not checked then there's a variety of different ways to do it. For instance I can hold the Command key down and double click on a folder. I can also Control click, two finger click on a trackpad, right click on a mouse and use Open a New Window. Or with a folder selected I can go to File and then hold the Control key down and Open changes to Open a New Window. So any of these will open a new window. Let's Command double click and you can see that this window doesn't open in the same location as this one. Matter of fact if I were to resize it, reposition it like that it will remember its location. Command double click and you can see it goes back there. But if I go to another folder like this one, Command double click, it's going to have its own position and own size that it will remember. Now where it gets confusing is that most of the time we're not actually opening a new window. We're using the same window and we're browsing into a folder. So here's this business folder. Instead of Command double clicking to open up a new window I'm just going to double click and then browse into it. And you can see what happens there is it's going to use the same window size and location as before. It's not going to move this window and resize it just because I went down into a new folder. And on top of that by simply viewing this folder it's resetting the position and size. So it's remembering oh, okay you're looking at the business folder now and this is the size and location of it. So now if I were to Command double click it remembers that not that position where it was down here or up there. It's going to recreate the previous position and size. And notice it offsets it a little bit because otherwise it would be confusing. It would be covering it up completely and you would maybe not know that there was a window behind this one. So now if I resize and reposition, close, Command double click will remember that. Double click will simply browse into it and reset that size and location. And now Command double click will use that same size and location with a little convenient offset to help. Now the other thing to think about is the settings for how things are viewed inside of the window. So here I'm in Icon View. I can go to List View. I can go to Column View. And if I close this window and open a new Finder window it remembers. But what about going inside? So if I go into this folder here it seems to be using the same Icon View. Let's change this to List View. And let's go back up. Now let's go back down and you can see it goes back to Icon View. So by browsing it's not going to change the view from what you were looking at before. It's going to keep the same view. Now what if I open a new window. I'll Command double click and you can see it actually remembers it was List View. I changed it to List View and that kind of set a preference for this window here. Let's go and change to Column View. And if I double click now it's Column View. But here's the interesting thing. If I go to another folder like Personal I Command double click it's also in Column View. Let's change it to List. 
Command double click, it remembers list. But now if I go back to business, Command double click, remembers list as well. It seems there's a preference set for what happens when you open up a new window. So if I go in here and I say I want to see list view for all new windows, then it's going to be list view no matter what new window I open. Let's open up the documents folder again in a new finder window and you can see it does remember this. So what's the difference? Well, we go to view, show view options or command J, there's some settings up here. The settings here are always open in and browse in. And what it says after it, like icon view, that's going to change depending on what you have set. So in this case, I've got the documents folder set to always open an icon view. Let's go into the business folder. That's not set to anything. So what happens is going to depend on what you're doing. If you're browsing here, there's a setting right there, browse and icon view. It means that when I'm here at this location, if I browse, it's going to browse and icon view, staying in icon view. If I change this to list, now you see it says browse and list view. If I go here, now I'm browsing in list view. Now, let's go back to icon view here. What if I open a new window? I'll command double click here. You could see it's icon view. If I change to list view, it remembers. And now I command double click and you can see it remembers that as well. But the same for any other folder. So basically when browsing like this, it's going to remember browse in icon view and you'll see what's in that new folder in icon view. But when opening a new window, it's going to use kind of this universal default, whatever it was you were last using, and it's going to remember that the next time you open up a new window that doesn't have this set. Now what happens if I do set this? Let's set this to list view and let's say always open list view. That's a setting for the business folder. So now when I command double click, the new window opens in list view. If I command double click the personal folder, I can change that to column view. Let's try that. Command double click, it remembers column view. Will it do column view for this? No. It'll do list view because I had selected this option just for the business folder. And it doesn't change that kind of universal default. The last time I looked at a folder that didn't have this turned on, that was column view. So if I go in here again, it's column view. A new folder like this, column view. Now what happens if I browse? If I browse into it, Yes, list view. Always open and list view is going to supersede the browse and icon view there. But here it's not going to supersede it because I didn't have this turned on. So browse and icon view supersedes that kind of universal default of viewing new folders in column view. Yeah, it does get a little complex. If you really care about this stuff, you may want to experiment just like I'm doing. Create a new folder. Put a bunch of folders inside it. Put a bunch of temporary files inside of those and play around with opening new windows and browsing into them using these settings whether or not they're on or off. Now, there's also a very different mode that you can be in in the Finder. If you go to View and then you hide the toolbar then you don't get a toolbar anymore and things behave differently when you double click them. If I double click on Business it opens up a new window every time. Every double click will open up a new window rather than if you have the toolbar on then you're in browse mode and now you're browsing in the same window. I would recommend never to use the option with no toolbar at all. It's just too valuable to have this toolbar. But some people like it. It's like the old version of the Finder from years and years ago. So I hope this gives you some insight as to how the Finder remembers things like window size, window position, and which view it's using. So even after playing around with it, if you're still confused by it all, don't worry, a lot of people are. There's just so many different ways that you can open new windows and dig down into other windows and position things and change views that it really gets pretty complex. But in the end, you don't really have to worry about it. If you go into a folder and it's not in the view you want, just change it to the view you want. There are even convenient keyboard shortcuts for all of that. I find it gets worse if you're in the habit of opening and closing Finder windows all the time. So you go into here, you do some stuff, you close a Finder window. Next time you need a Finder window you open up a new one. I tend to just have a Finder window open all the time. I do like to use tabs. So I may have a tab for each folder that I use pretty often. 
like this and just go between them and position it someplace. And if I don't need it and I'm using another app I can just hide the Finder to get it out of the way and it's always there. And I just basically keep a Finder window open at all times and that way I can have each thing set just as I want. So that's something to think about if you always find it frustrating as to what settings a new Finder window is going to use. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. If you like this video click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.